If you have a MIDI compatible music keyboard, you can connect it to the computer through a MIDI interface. A MIDI interface has one or more round plugs that may be connected to a music keyboard. The most common is the USB MIDI interface, connected to the computer with its USB connector. There are other types of MIDI interfaces, for instance this cable that can be connected directly into the game port of the computer. Most of the time you must connect the IN connector into the OUT plug of the keyboard. But depending on the convention used by the manufacturer, you must sometimes do the reverse and connect the OUT connector into the OUT plug of the music keyboard. In case it doesn't work properly, you can try both methods of connection. Please note that some music keyboards are sold with a direct USB connector and have no MIDI connector as such. According to your MIDI interface, you may need to install the Windows driver, but most recent USB interfaces are plug and play and require no driver installation. Once the MIDI connection is installed, start Pizzicato and select the MIDI setup menu item. Double click on the MIDI input and select your MIDI interface in the associated driver menu. To enter the notes directly with the music keyboard, there are two methods. You can work step by step or in real time. The step by step method uses the music keyboard to determine the note pitches and the computer numeric keypad to specify the note durations. The arrow must be selected in the main palette and the MIDI cursor tool must be active. The shortcut of the MIDI cursor tool is the lowercase letter R. A blinking cursor appears in the measure and you can move it anywhere with a click. To add a note, play it on the music keyboard and use the 3 key on the numeric keypad corresponding to a quarter note. By moving the mouse over the notes palette, you can display the shortcut of each note duration, corresponding to the keys 0 to 8. You can use this method to enter a melody or even chords. Using the shortcut without playing on the keyboard displays the equivalent rest. With the backspace key, you can remove the rest or the note on the left of the cursor. By using the dot, you add a dot to the note or the rest. With the arrow keys, or by clicking, you can move the MIDI cursor. With the equal key, you can tie the note to the next note. With the tap key, you move to the next measure. With shift and the tap key, you move to the previous measure. The slash key is used to beam or break beams between two notes.
You can now add a second voice. If you have no music keyboard, you can use the piano window. The notes of this keyboard may be played by clicking with the mouse or by using the first two key rows of the computer keyboard. To use the keyboard shortcut, the mouse position must be inside the keyboard window. You may also enter the notes in real time, which means that you will play the notes and the score will be computed and displayed. If some measures are not played the way you want, you can adjust them by quantizing and transcribing them. The same principle may be applied while playing with both hands, by selecting the split option. You can also import a MIDI file and display, edit, play or print the score.